What's up YouTube? I got another video for you guys today. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the Steve Francis spam. So that's the move that you see on the screen that I'm going to help you guys with. Um, it's a fairly easy move. First of all, you're going to need the sig SIGs that you see on the screen here, which is your size up escape Steve Francis and also escape moves Trey Young. So basically, just to break this down and get straight into it, what you're going to want to do is Let's say the ball's in your left hand. You're gonna flick, you're gonna hold right trigger and flick your right stick to the diagonal right, and you should get this animation, right? The Trey Young, which is kind of like a crab move. Now, after you get that move, you're gonna let go of turbo and you're gonna flick your right stick to the top left, diagonal left, and you'll get the Steve Francis. That's why you kind of call it the uh Steve Francis spam, because it's a combination of Trey Young and Steve Francis. Um, so basically what you want to do is basically practice crabbing and then doing the Steve Francis, right? Crabbing, Steve Francis. Crabbing, Steve Francis. Crabbing, Steve Francis. Once you get in the rhythm of doing that, basically what you want to do is just kind of speed it up. The nice thing about this move let me, let me, uh, is... Once you uh, once you do the Trey Young, you can literally speed boost and run out of it. So let's say balls in my right hand, for example, I'm gonna flick my uh, right stick to the top left, right without turbo, and then after I flick to the top left, I'm gonna flick back to the top right, holding turbo, and then I'm gonna run out of it. So if you do it right, it'll look like this. Actually, I messed up. I did it a little bit too slow, but basically. You can do Steve Francis, Trey Young, and then you can run out of it. That's the cool thing about it is you can spam it a few times and then you kind of make them second guess if you're going to go left or you're going to go right. And then basically when you're done, just Trey Young out of the move. Um, and then you can run out of it like that. All right. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, some things to watch out for if, you're, if your uh, right stick placement is off when you're holding turbo sometimes you're going to get this little weird move like that that means your placement is off if you do it right you should get the trey young like this every time you do it right with your right stick so i have that i have the cam on the left so you guys slow it down take a look um yeah and hopefully this helps this is what the move will look like when it's completed you can basically just spam it as you saw i kind of messed up a second but yeah that's what it looks like and then, like I said, you can run out of it like this whenever you're done doing the move. So you kind of get them standing still while you're going left, right real quick. And then you just, boom, you just run out of it with the Trey Young. Um, it's actually a pretty killer move. I'll have to, I'll have to post some clips um, of me doing it in the park um, and then in the theater as well. Uh, the theater as well. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it sweet. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you guys out. Um, you can do the same thing on the other side, right? So if your ball's in your left hand, you basically, without holding turbo, you can flick the ball to the top right, and then you hold turbo and then flick to the top left, right? Right, and it'll look like that. You just speed it up. Again, practice getting the Steve Francis down slowly, getting the Trey Young down, Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, and then you basically just go faster. And once you get, once you go faster, it returns into a spam. Like, like I said, just w watch your placement with the sticks, because sometimes if you don't place them right, you'll do some weird movements. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have for this video. So hope you guys liked the video. Um, please like, subscribe. I can teach you that move too if you guys want the little L2 cancel. You can do the L2 cancel this year without even hitting L2. Uh, in my opinion, it's way easier, way faster if you're on the Xbox controller because. Um, for some reason on the Xbox controllers, when you hold left trigger, like it doesn't stop right away. I don't know. So anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys later. Peace.